This is a different kind of forecast for us. This is what it feels like sometimes in South Florida or Texas or the Gulf Coast. We have something tropical heading our way. Don't worry about the semantics of hurricane tropical storm. Where is it going to make landfall? The impact is what matters now. And the biggest impact is going to be flash flooding. We're going to get a lot of rain in a short amount of time with a very rare high risk of flash flooding in Palm Springs and our interior deserts. San Bernardino's, the San Gabriel's, our mountain locations into the Antelope Valley, a 40% chance or greater of flash flooding and even Los Angeles and Ventura County and parts of Orange County have a 15% chance, which is still a high chance of seeing flash flooding. A lot of rain, especially when you consider our average rain in August is zero. And for the first time ever, a tropical storm watch has been issued for Orange County and San Diego County, the coastline there. What does that mean? It means we can expect some pretty strong winds along the coast. That's what we've been forecasting all along. But now as the storm gets closer, we see new watches. This may get upgraded to a warning some point in time tomorrow. So when's the last time that we actually had a bona fide tropical storm make landfall here? The answer is nearly a century ago. It was 1939 in September where a tropical storm made landfall in Long Beach. They didn't have names back then. Now we named the storms. This is Hillary. Winds there hit 40 miles per hour with wind gusts to 60 miles per hour. So what can you expect at your house or where you're going to be on Sunday and Monday? Rainfall totals have increased. Two to four inches of rain is likely, which is more than enough for flooding concerns. Uh, we could see a thunderstorm chance inland as soon as Saturday afternoon for the majority of Southern California. We'll begin to get rain Sunday afternoon. Winds will be widespread 30 to 45 mile per hour gusts with higher gusts in mountains at the beach and in any thunderstorms that do develop. And there's a 24 hour window of the highest impact. It is two o'clock Sunday afternoon through two o'clock Monday afternoon.